What up, bitches? It's the misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant slash review. Today, I want to talk about this album right here, 50 Cent's latest album and highly anticipated album called Animal Ambition, An Untamed Desire to Win. Now, a lot of y'all know who 50 Cent is, so I'm not even going to go into that shit. Just know that this album suffered a shitload of pushbacks, and um, it's finally here. And I was anticipating this shit because I heard one or two tracks, and it sounded like 50 was, was uh, returning to his grimy fucking self. And, uh, you know, anybody who's a fan of mine knows that when I refer to 50's greatest albums, I always speak of Power of the Dollar and Get Rich or Die Trying. Those are my two... Someone's texting me. Hold on, let me turn this off. Those are my two favorite albums by 50 Cent. And this one is a return to form. And, um, you know, I, I always talked about 50's uh, last couple of albums. I, I always said that they were like mediocre to okay. But this one really, really shows that 50 still got it. He still could put out dope street music. And even this album, that nigga Slim the Mobster, he has to be happy with this because he was critical of 50, I think a couple years ago, saying that 50 doesn't know how to release street music anymore. Well, Slim the Mobster, if you happen to watch this, this should make you fucking happy. I'm gonna talk about the artwork first off. You have a lenticular cover right there, which is pretty cool. You can see how it changes from a lion's face to 50's face. It has the animal concept all over the fucking album. Even when you look inside, well, I got the CD inside my CD player right now, but you see on the, um, uh, let me turn it right side up. You can see that you have a wolf's face on the DVD. I didn't watch the DVD yet. And it says, you know, in bullets right here, AA volume one right there. So, hopefully, there's going to be a volume two of this shit. And I hope it mirrors this album. Alright, let's go into some of the producers that helped craft this album, alright? You have Frank Dukes, Charlie Brown, Swift, Sham Tracks, S. Dot Pro, and K. Miller. I'm just reading this shit off of here. You have Dr. Dre and Dewan Porter. Steve A Alien. Yeah. G Rocker and Medi. Jake One. Shout out to my nigga Jake One. I know you have to watch my shit. <clears throat> Kyle Justice. I mentioned Kai Miller already. Ty Fife, I, um, I think I mentioned. And Jake One again. And duh, 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 duh. who is this last one? Uh, Nascent and QB with additional production. Yeah, I said Kai Miller already. For the most part, you got grimy production on here. And I don't really have a problem with it, with, uh, except for the exception of a couple of songs, one or two at best. Features on this bitch. You have Yo Gotti, Trey Songs, Kid Kid, Jada Kiss, Mr. Probs, 
I think this is how you say his name. I don't want to fuck it up, but Jordan Banks. It's spelled G U O R D A N. So Jordan Banks, Prodigy of Mob Deep, Styles P from the Locks, and um, Schoolboy Q from TDE. All right. You got a few features on here, 14 tracks, bunch of features on here. Let me see. Um, I wish it was more 50 on this album because I was really anticipating this shit and from what I heard, like songs like The Funeral, that street single was dope, a dope solo 50 track and that happens to be on here by the way, it's a bonus cut. But, um, you know, a, a lot of these guys come on here and do their thing. You know, you have people like uh, Mr. Probs and Jordan Banks who are just R&B cats and are singing hooks. But, you know, 50 Cent does the sing-songy shit sometimes. So I felt that, you know, he could have taken one of them off at least and done one of the hooks himself because he makes catchy hooks as it is. Um, just to limit some of the features on this bitch. But as far as the rap dudes, they really came through. And I was very surprised at Yo Gotti. I'm not a big Yo Gotti fan, but he really came through on that track. Um, don't worry about it. So let's go into the pros now that I'm talking about that. Um, the features, the rap features did their thing. Yo Gotti especially. I will give him props on that track. Don't worry about it. Um, I love that track, especially on there, because it, it um, reminds me of how a lot of these niggas in life are worried about shit that they shouldn't be worried about. In fact, I um, recently, I, I think I mentioned this before, I recently like stopped talking to somebody because they're worried about shit that they shouldn't be worried about. And that track speaks to me because it's like he's saying... Don't worry about how I get money. I get money. Don't worry about these these whips. Don't worry about uh, the jewels. Don't worry about it. I got it. Don't worry about it. So I definitely love that um, fucking the, the 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 content of that song. Um, track one, hold on, dope fucking track. Um, what else can I talk about? Track eight, hustler. Obviously, you know what that track's about. Track 11, uh, Chase the Paper featuring Prodigy, Kid Kid, and Styles P. Dope fucking posse cut. Again, the titles are very self-explanatory. I love how he talks about y'all niggas are chasing hoes, I'm chasing the paper. And I love that concept because, you know, in real life, hoes chase paper ch chase dudes with paper so i'm gonna chase the paper and get the hoes anyway you chase hoes and don't get no pussy so i i definitely love that um i don't know what else to say uh track five smoke dope track i was i was thrown by that track because with trey songs on that shit you know i was like shit i i went to myself, I was like, God damn, you know, this is gonna be a track about bitches, even the, the hook sort of uh, talks about that, but I, I, I wanna save that one for you guys, that, that's a really dope track, I was really thrown by that one, and also surprised about the Dr. Dre production on that shit, very dope, um, cons again, features, I would have I would have uh, taken some of the, these uh, R&B cats off. Um, oh, let me go back to another con, uh, another track that I like, uh, another pro. I'm sorry, track that I like. Winner Circle, dope fucking track. There, he's talking about his animal ambition. He he he's a winner. He wants to win, and what he's going to do to win. Um, now we'll go back into cons. Um, <laughs> The fact that he has these R&B guys on here um, on a grimy ass album, you know, if they were saying s certain shit and didn't come off super soft, I mean, I guess I would kind of let that one slide. Um, I wish I had more 50, straight 50 on here. 
Uh, I could understand why he didn't have any of the G Unit dudes, even though they recently reunited. I could understand why he didn't have them on here because probably he didn't want to give away that he was getting back with them or anything. So that's understandable. And uh, shit, beat wise, could have been more grimy. But all in all, fucking dope album. I'm very proud of this album. Shout out to 50. Shout out to the rest of the G Unit. I'm glad to see y'all resolved your differences for the most part. Um, for those that don't know, they kind of reunited for Summer Jam. I don't know if that means they're going to be making new music or whatever. All of them with the exception of Game. Even though they had that track called The Reunit where Game and 50 were both on there. But um, hopefully they come back together, resolve their stupid ass differences and um, you know, put some dope music out. And um, my rating of this album, I would give this an 8 probably an 8.5 solid album dope listen i will be listening to it again and that's all i gotta say all right everybody else y'all know the deal leave your love leave your hate most of all subscribe i gotta go right now that's why i'm in the car i wanted to do this review real quick i know a lot of heads are looking forward to this review so that's it peace bitches